Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. Uh, my name's Bronte and I think we all knew this video was coming. <laughs> um, this is going to be my Hobonichi 2024 unboxing, I guess. Um, I've already opened this. <laughs> um, I did this last year. I, I already opened it because I was really excited. And yeah. I have taken my dress label off here and it ruined the box, which is really sad. But um, I don't know, you can still see that it's a lovely, like, kind of cream coloured box, almost yellow. Um, <clears throat> so, shall we have a look what's in this box? Um, this took really no time at all to come from Japan. My order was sent out on Monday and it arrived here on Thursday afternoon, which is kind of amazing. Um, so I don't know, I know that the shipping is expensive, but it is really worth it and I can track it all of, you know, you can track all of the places it goes, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, let's open this box up. So there's a really nice quote on here. Um, which is very cute about, I don't know, they, they always have these kind of poignant quotes about like the passage of time and like making the most of every day, which is lovely. Um, so I've already, <laughs> I've already opened everything uh, because I don't know, I didn't want to like struggle with packaging and stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is just lift all of this stuff out and we can put the box to one side. Okay, so let's start with the freebies um so i have two pens because i got a week's and the cousin uh this pen is as gorgeous as i was hoping it would be uh i, I love these colors so much um i think my boyfriend wants to steal one <laughs> um and i might let him because why not it's such a lovely color and i really like the fact that there's clear parts of it as well so yes we have two pens and then the bag that I got was this one, which I think is called Nice Day, um, which I was really hoping for the pretzel one, like everybody else, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are so cute and tiny. I'm not sure what I can use this for, to be honest, but it's it's so cute. It's so, it's so small. <laughs> um, it would be good for washi tapes or something, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. It, look, it says Hobonichi on the back. That's cute. Maybe if I have it on my desk, I can have it this way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the free bag. I think you could get multiple ones. Um, but I can't remember what the the kind of... Uh, what the like criteria were to get more than one bag. But yeah, I have one. Let's... Where should I put that there? Okay, so... Then the, uh, I didn't really get any, many accessories, but I got two things. I got the uh, Little Gifts A6 folder set. I really wanted the A5 as well to give to my mom, but it sold out before I could buy it. Um, but, oh, look at these. They're so cute. There's just so many lovely little details. I think the brown is my favorite. I kind of wish this one had been the cover instead of the black. But anyway, it's so cute. I really like, look, it's like a little diary. And then on the back as well, there's these cute little single illustrations. This one's my favorite, it's like a little mole. So cute. So I'm really pleased I got these and I think they'll be good for fitting sticker sheets in. Um, so here are two sticker sheets that I've got kind of knocking around. Um, Salam Creative and Amaragona Suli. And look at that. They're like the perfect size to go in one of these wallets. Um, and these are the same size as the Coffee Monsters Co. And like Paper Shire and stuff as well. So yeah, they're really good for lots of the brands that I have. Um, and I chose A6 because they'll fit inside my B6 Sterling Ink Calm Planner and my A5 Hobonichi. So kind of in the cover, you know, if I'm traveling or anything. So yeah, that's those. Um, let's put those here. Then we have the uh, Tomotaro Makino A5 pencil board. Have the A6 and the Weeks ones as well already. 
let's just uh, show you those two in case you haven't seen. So this is the A6 one and then this is the Weeks one. So I think the Weeks is my favourite just because they're like black and white or like grayscale illustrations. And it has purple on the back, which is really nice. Then the uh, A6 one has these, I think these are dandelion. That's what it looks like to me. Um, and the back is yellow, which is also lovely. And then this one has, I don't actually know what this flower is. Is it some kind of orchid? Can somebody tell me? It looks like, it looks like an orchid to me, but I could be completely wrong. Uh, and then on the back, it's this really nice green, which is actually like softer in real life than it was on the website, I think. Um, it's not necessarily my sort of green, because I like, I do love green, but I would go for more like a foresty green. This is quite, um, uh, it's almost going towards like a pastel-y green, but I think it's nice and it complements the illustration really well. So yeah, that's the pencil board. It's nice to have the set now. I have all three. So yeah, I didn't really need a pencil board, but it's nice to have it. <laughs> And also, they're so inexpensive when you order from Hobonichi. Um, so then, this is my weeks. I chose the Black Gingham Paper Series weeks. Uh, I love this. It's so... It, it feels like... I know it sounds stupid, but it feels very paper-like. Um, it's the same sort of flexibility as the... Um, cloth covers or the this is my Tomotaro Makino which has kind of like a textured uh, hard cover but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's hard cover because they're still flexible and this paper series one is the same let me show you my cloth one or this is like the yellow 2023 yellow and even with the cover on this is the same as well so yeah um the weeks is going to be a reading journal i have been using my tomotaro makino weeks as a reading journal because i've moved to my common planner i still wanted to keep using a weeks and it's working so well this is this week i haven't really filled much out today's friday but i have things to fill out i finished a book this morning and it was so cute so i want to write a little bit about that and yeah this is last week and then the week before is the first week i used this as a reading journal um it's just fun to fill out and it's a it's like a manageable size i've wanted to start a reading journal for quite a long time but was quite daunted about uh having a, a biggish book but the weeks is working out really well. It's kind of the perfect size. And then it has the notes pages at the back. Um, so you can make notes about stuff if you want to. Um, yeah, so it, I called it my reading journal, but it's actually more like a hobbies journal. Um, so yeah, I, I want to write about knitting and stuff as well, but I just haven't really been doing much of that recently. It's been really hot here and yeah. Anyway, so that's... That's that week. So this paper series weeks, I'm really excited about because it's minimal without being boring because it has this gingham texture. And because it's this paper feel, it's perfect for putting stickers on. Uh, the the, the, the uh, kind of fabric covers and this Tomotaro Makino. I mean, the, the this one, I could have put stickers on, but it's too beautiful to cover this up. Um, and the cloth fabric cover, you wouldn't be able to adhere a sticker to that. But this is perfect. Uh, so this is very exciting. I think I know what sticker I want to put on here. And I'll show you that in a bit. Because otherwise this video is going to be really short. So that's my weeks. Okay, and then I chose the Avec Cousin. So the Avec, if you're not familiar... Um, the AVEC is split into two books, so we have January to June and July to December. Uh, this I'm really excited about. This is my week's, uh, sorry, my cousin for this year. As you can see, it's really chunky <laughs> and we still have 
three and a half months left of the year so it's gonna by the end of the year even now it's getting a bit more difficult to write in so I decided I wanted to get the AVEC to kind of eliminate that difficulty so um yeah I'm really excited as well because it op offers the opportunity to set up a book halfway through the year so once uh June is over you know you can switch to your July book and kind of have a fresh start and there is still all of the stuff in the back um the thing I mainly use the back in the back pages is the my 100 I also feel like this is an interesting exercise because I use this to mark or to write in the books that I have read so yeah I wonder if it'd be interesting for me to see how many I read in the first six months of the year and how many I read in the second half of the year um I feel like often I read more I don't know actually I was going to say maybe I read more when it's colder but also I read quite a lot in the summer because it's kind of sometimes I feel like it's too hot to knit so yeah we shall see so that's those and this one actually the corner is slightly dinged up and I don't know if that's I've done that since I got this or not or if it was like that when I, it arrived I think I might have done that I'm not gonna lie when I got my cousin last year because they've started doing the paper packaging instead of plastic I think it slides around a little more and my cousin had a dinged up corner when it arrived last year but it doesn't matter because the, <laughs> the other reason why this doesn't matter is because I'm going to cover these with brown craft sticker paper which I'll show you in a second and we'll talk about that in a second but yeah these are it's you know it's a beautiful set of two books and I'm really excited to be able to um swap halfway through the year because I was kind of feeling like I wanted to this year but obviously I didn't need to so I restrained myself but I nearly bought a um July to December Avec cousin for the latter half of this year even though I didn't need one I was kind of feeling the urge to change books but yeah I'm glad that I didn't because I can do it in 2024 so then the last thing that I got is this beautiful Tar Tomitaro Makino notebook again I didn't need this but <laughs> ordering from Japan the stuff was way cheaper than here in the UK I think this was 12 pounds and in the UK these are like 20 22 so yeah I just decided to get it and because I'm using the AVEC uh, they can kind of go together because two slimmer books make one chunky book if <laughs> that makes sense um so yeah I don't really know what I'll use this for but I really just wanted to have it and I'm really glad I do have it I, I've been thinking as well like if one year I fancy something less structured than the cousin I can use a an undated notebook I have this also in A6 um so I could choose to just use one of these as like a journal instead of a dated notebook if that makes sense we'll see so I have a plan for these um which involves being a little bit creative maybe <laughs> um so I was really hesitant over the AVEC because of the colour of these covers. I don't so much mind the blue, but this like acidic yellow is just not my sort of colour. I much prefer uh, this sort of yellow, um, which is like a proper mustard. And if they decided to do a mustard and a blue, <laughs> how much nicer is that? Like a na almost like a navy and a mustard. That would be so much nicer, but yeah this is what we have so I decided um I had decided just to get the full year cousin and then I saw on patreon um I'm a member of Randy dot plans's patreon and she has had the effect for this year and Randy likes this sort of yellow so she had left this cover uncovered but the blue was is not to her taste and she had covered it in craft sticker paper 
uh, which I thought was absolutely genius. So I went to Etsy and I bought some. So I got some. So here it is. I'm planning on covering the front and the back with this paper and leaving the brown spine. So yeah, we'll have something like this. And I'm really excited. <laughs> I think I will, I think what I'll do is I'll cut the sheet in half and then stick it down and then trim. But I have 10 sheets. So if I like fudge one, I think I can always do a second layer, if that makes sense. But I think this is gonna be really nice. But then let me show you my vision. <laughs> so my vision is, for it to be like this, you know, a really simple brown cover. And then I have this cover I bought from Cute Stickers Only. This is from Laura, this is a Lauren Phelps Designs cover, um, but Cute Stickers Only in the UK retail these, uh, which I was really happy to find out because I don't want to ship a cover from America. Um, and this has quite a few pockets. Well, there's three in the front and then the cover tucks in here and then there's two big ones in the back as well. So I have not, as you can see, I have not bought a cover from Hobonichi because I just couldn't make up my mind about whether or not I wanted one. And so I've decided for now that I won't get one. I am, however, going to, there's a Hobonichi pop-up event happening that's in partnership with a shop here in the UK that retails Hobonichi, Nishura East. They are hosting a pop-up for all of these 2024 Hobonichi products on Saturday, tomorrow, and I'm gonna go. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if <laughs> if I see something there. If I see a cover there that I love, I'm, I will get it. But I think I'm really glad I waited and, and I can see them in real life. So yeah, so uh, going back, we have the brown paper and then I'm gonna, you know, I have a clear plastic cover, but but before I put the clear plastic cover on, I have stickers. So I just got my first order from Planner Monkey Co. I looked and looked on Etsy for uh, month stickers that I liked the font of, and I could not find any. And then I looked on a couple of other like sticker shops, and I found that Planner Monkey Co. have these typewriter font stickers, which I really like. And these I ordered on transparent paper. So I'm thinking, my boyfriend suggested last night actually, that I put the first month, so January would be up here in the top left and then June would be down here in the bottom right, which I think that's really cute. I think that's a nice idea. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I got two sheets. I don't really know why Like I ordered two. I think I was thinking that it would last me, but, her shipping was pretty fast and it was really affordable from Canada. So I'll definitely order again. Um, I also got tiny, She got, these are her transparent minis. I got tiny months, but I think these are a bit too small. So I'll use these some of, in some other place. Then I also got these, which are her like monthly tabs and these are transparent too. Um, I normally use ones from the Coffee Monsters Co. I have for the past two years, but I fancied a change um, and I really like how minimal these are and the fact that the font matches what will be on the cover. So yeah, I got some days of the week stickers as well to go in my common planner. And a few other bits. Um, well, let me show you. I got some payday stickers, uh, some more days of the week, and then I got these, uh, which are like, she calls these highlight tabs. Uh, I just really like the colours. I'm not quite sure what I'll use those for, but I, I will use them. Then these are from one of her subscription kits. I thought these were really cute. Uh, the bookmarks say, just keep reading and keep calm and read on. And then there's a little book stack. Then the freebies I got, she was really generous because I used the code from Theory of Lauren, but there's obviously another Lauren. So <laughs> I got two freebies from two different Laurens, but I really wanted to be able to have Theory of Lauren's freebie because it's so cute. Uh, and then I also got a Hobonichi Weeks kit, which I've never bought a 
kit for weeks before but I just really liked this one and I like these colours so I don't know if I'll use it in a week or if I will do something else with it I just really liked it and it was not expensive at all her prices are really good um, so that's the things from Planner Monkey Co this, these were the, kind of the main thing I ordered I'm just going to drink coffee sorry I feel like I talk way too fast so yeah apologies if that's what's happening <laughs> Um, but I have these for the front because this all came about because I realised by covering these covers I wouldn't know which was which until I opened it up and if it's on a shelf in coming years I want to just be able to know which, who, which, which one's which. So then I have this sticker from Salam Creative that I've been saving. I don't have a problem, I have a hobby. <laughs> I love that. And then you've seen these, but um, I got stickers from Redbubble um, to uh, go on these covers. So I was thinking that this one, this Enemies to Lovers book club, could go on my weeks. I think that's really cool. The Redbubble stickers have quite like a, um, a wide, shall we say, white border but um i think i'll just cut that off i saw um lovely person i follow on instagram she's just decorated her kindle cover uh with stickers from redbubble and it looked like she'd cut all of the white edges off and i thought that was a really good idea so yeah these will go on the covers and i think these are two this i i kind of got too many um but that's okay i'll save some um maybe the bookish ones can go on i mean most of them are bookish but maybe some of those can go on um weeks cover because it's gonna gonna be my books thing so that's the plan um i wonder if Mulder and scully would fit here mm, no not quite i would look cute with this too that would fit so anyway, sorry, that's the plan. Um, I don't know when I will cover these um, with this paper. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do it on camera because I'm nervous about messing it up. So I think I kind of want to do it today um, because I'm just really excited about this, the idea I have for this setup. And then I'm seeing some friends tomorrow uh, at the pop-up and I would quite like to be able to show them how it looks so yeah maybe that's what I'll do this afternoon um, so that's the plan you are watching this video on Monday I will be in Greece by the time you're watching this video so yeah I'm, um, I'm on holiday um, I'm really looking forward to a break so uh, I won't be replying to comments and uh, I will reply but just when I get home um, and I won't be I don't know if you have questions I won't be able to get back to you super fast I just want to have a break from uh, social media to be honest I'm really looking forward to just reading loads of books and spending time with my friends and my boyfriend so yeah that's the plan for next week or this week as you're watching um, the following week I won't have chance to film whilst I'm in Greece but if I manage to get some any footage tomorrow um, I will upload a very probably a very short vlog about the Hobonichi event so that's the plan for the next few weeks and then I think after that it might be a September recap already which is kind of crazy um, this month is flying by uh, but yeah this is a bit of a ramble, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will, uh, I will speak to you soon. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching everybody. I will, um, I will speak to you soon. <laughs>